good morning children today we'll continue with the story the barber's trade union it is written by mulk raj anand he was an indian writer yesterday we have done that the author is a friend of a village boy who who has been taught by his father to cut hair to have to do a hair cut and to do shave shave the beard but he was uh, that was his family occupation and uh, he was so much engrossed in that work that he had got no time to do his studies now look at the board then he asked my advice on the question of whether as a barber educated to the fifth primary class he would not look more dignified if he too wore a dress in style of kalam khan for though i am not a highly educated doctor he said i learned how to treat pimples boils and cuts on people's body from my father who learned from his father before now the author is telling then he asks my advice on the question then this chandu the character has asked the author his friend that if he will dress like in a style of kalam khan wouldn't he look more dignified though he is just a barber educated a barber who is educated till primary class but if he dresses up nicely in a style of kalam khan then he would look more dignified apart from this he said that he is not a doctor educated doctor or a professional doctor but he can treat pimples and boils and cuts on people's body pimple what grows on the face face pe jo pimple aa jata hai boils mota dana hota hai that he can cure it wo cure kar sakta hai usko why because that art of curing wo kala usne apne father se sikhi jiske jis jiske father ne apne father se sikhi okay cuts on people's now i learned how to treat pimples boils and cuts on people's body from my father who learned from his father before him who his father chandu's father has learned this from his grandfather but chandu was kind to me now the author is telling that chandu is very kind towards him he knew that i was seldom taken to town now the author is telling that chandu knew it very well that he was hardly taken to town and that i had to trudge three weary miles to a secondary school in a big village of jowadile jowadilia with a with the fear of god in my heart now he is telling that i had to the author is telling to chandu that i had to travel 3 miles in order to come to the village to attend the the secondary school and with the fear of god in my heart he had a fear of god while he had been completely absolved from the ordeal of being flogged by cruel masters as he had left the school after his father's death now the author is telling that chandu has left his school flogged by cruel masters means uske teachers usko bahut maarte the chandu ko completely absorbed from the ordeal of being flogged by cruel masters and he had left school after his father's death now chandu has left the school after his father's death because he was being beaten by his teachers very cruelly uske teacher usko bahut bure tarike se maarte the so he always brought me some gifts or other from the town so whenever chandu used to go to town to do a hair cut or a shave he used to bring a lot of gifts for the author what gifts does he used to bring see a paint brush a gold ink or white chalk or a double edged pen knife to sharpen pencils and he would not only bring gifts he would also entertain me with long merry descriptions of the variety of things he saw in the bazaars of civilization now the author is telling that while chandu used to go and visit the village he has not only brought plenty of gifts for me but he would also entertain me with one or the different type of entertainment stories or the things which he has seen in the bazaars while he was purchasing gifts for the author
now this comes to the end of the story now what does we learn what is the moral of the story that mulk raj anand has depicted now he is telling that chandu is a uh, setting is a barber and for and he's a village boy and he has set up his own standard of going to other village to do the work instead of tolerating humil in humility from his from the zamindars of his own village wo choose karta hai ki wo bahar ja ke kaam kare rather than apne village mein kaam karne se jahan usse sab kaam bhi karate hain and they humiliate him also uski insult bhi karte bahut now see uh, many might uh, have done and instructed by elders in the village but many people have instructed chandu that don't go to other village but chandu has not paid any attention why as he has lost his father he has to run his family okay he has got mother in his family when chandu used to do work and get some money for her mother now chandu and his mother have freed themselves from the pre convinced societal norms that have been accepted for so long in the village now as chandu is started earning his mother has started living a good life so she has started ignoring all sorts of uh, dirty things or you can say the uh, the tri- just societal terms mean society mein jaise kaha jata hai ki ek widow ko aise rehna hai waise rehna she has started ignoring all these things and they have the mother and the son have started living a free life okay they too have taken now chandu too have taken the control of the situation through in ingenuity and resilience okay now he has kept silence and he has started working hard actually in reality chandu started off as an underdog fighting against the caste system chandu has started fighting for the caste system and he has managed Uh, to turn the things around in his favor now with his hard work he has turned many things into his favor now uh, children you know i think it is easy for the readers to see as to why narrator respects and admires chandu so much now chandu has in a very small age he has gained a lot of experience of life choti se umra mein usko zindagi ka bahut experience mil gaya after losing his father the entire responsibility was on his head and he has started earning money and taking care of a mother he has brought money to his mother he brings gifts for his friend who is a narrator of the story and he not only bring gifts he bal- he but he not only bring gifts but also he entertains his narrator friend with very much descriptive stories of the variety of things which he see in the bazaar thank you